Um, this is one called the Bridge House. Bridge House. Bridge yeah. House. And any one of these is like super cool. Um, <clears throat> talk about the, the, the recipients and how they get into sure. these things. Um, generally, anybody with an income of about $600 a month can qualify for them. They go through a process um, with our nonprofit where, number one, they recognize and, and start to believe that maybe they can have a home and that they don't have to live in substandard housing without running water, which is <laughs> crazy. But they go through a process of um, almost empowerment where they start to uh, believe and then they take classes to learn to be a homeowner, to know that they can buy them, to know they can afford them, they can care for them after, they start to help to build them, and then that way they understand how to repair them when something goes wrong. And um, so they, and it's been a really interesting um, process um, to go through with them. What I love about this one, uh, all of them are interesting, we don't have enough time to talk about it, but this roof, it's just a regular roof that they cut in an interesting way. So it looks like all complicated geometry, it's actually just cuts, it's just a regular roof. Um, the other thing that's interesting is this cedar siding, and you might go, oh, that's expensive, how would you do that? Well, this is all waste wood, and the reason it's different lengths, which becomes a design element, is because they couldn't get it in consistent lengths. So they just made that limitation into a, actually an aesthetic part of it, which I think makes it more interesting. Um, Talk about this version. Uh, when we when I first came to Alabama, obviously I had never built a house, but what I wanted to do um, through our resource center was start to invite other housing partners that did housing and knew what they were doing. Um, and we, we found that Habitat would be a good partner to invite in, and to do that you have to start a Habitat chapter. So we started a Habitat chapter, we finished the paperwork, and the day we did, um, there was a group of uh, university students from Auburn um, on a project called Design Habitat. and. Um, they had designed a house for an affiliate who wouldn't take it. They thought it was a little too modern. Um, and so uh, we, we were willing uh, to go ahead. This is the first house that we built through them. But the idea was that it was modular um, on two sides and site built in the center. And this was before Hurricane Katrina. But the idea was you could build them quickly in areas where there was very little labor and it would cost less. 